Well, are you ready for the challenge? It's a new year and we've got Grand Lake Health Systems in with us with their big grand challenge. And joining us today to tell us more, Lisa Arnett, Executive Director of Development Marketing and Outreach at Grand Lake Health System. And then we have to Dr. Dawn McNaughton and she's Physician and Chief Medical Officer with Grand Lake Health System. So thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. Okay, so it seems like this is the perfect time of year to start challenging people. So who would like to tell us what is this grand health challenge all about? Lisa. We are kicking off our 18th year of the Grand Health Challenge and super excited about it. Um, with the past challenges, we've had over 1,706 participants um, with, uh, I'm sorry, teams and 6,636 participants since the inception of the Grand Health Challenge with a total weight loss of over 55 thousand pounds um, which is equivalent to a fire truck so last year for the grand finale we had a fire truck arrive and all the participants uh, were able to stand around the fire truck and get a picture with it so it was super exciting that we reached that milestone and um, excited to kick off the 2024 challenge so doctor is it important to get people motivated the way you do this i mean you do special things right to keep them going to to reach their challenge and their goals yeah, absolutely. Um, it's always better to be doing things with a group rather than trying to do it all on your own. So what the challenge does for people is it helps them to achieve their goals a little bit at a time. And there are little habits that sometimes creep into our lives that the challenge helps you to switch to new healthier options. Right, because we have weigh-ins and things like that, but you, you have like uh, workshops and like events, to, right, to keep people motivated and learn things along the way. Yeah, we, we have a wonderful team um, that sits on the committee for this um, for this group. It's one of my favorite. And the, the team is composed of um, experts in many different fields. Um, so we have psychologists on the team. We have um, dietitians, nutritionists, exercise physiologists, um, folks that work at the YMCA, um, and physicians to keep everything um, legitimate and expert-based and guiding people in the right way. We're not interested in fads. We're interested in healthy changes that can be sustainable and take you through a lifetime for improved health in the long run. Yeah, so Lisa, we can do this as an individual or you can get teams together too, right? So I assume like workplaces, businesses like to do this too? Yes, we've been sending it out to a lot of the businesses and we're trying to get different um, challenges among the businesses as well. So the different fire departments can challenge other fire departments as well as, you know, corporations and so forth. So yeah, we actually took a survey, uh, which we do every year. And from the survey results, we found that most people would like to do also an individual rather than always having a team. Uh, because basically before, if an, uh, you, you'd lose individuals um, along the way for various reasons, then you would end up with an individual that wanted to just continue on with the program. So this year we changed it up a little bit and now it's team-based as well as individual-based with different prizes at the end. It is a 10 month program. So they have to weigh in in January, May, and in September in person. And then the rest of the months, you will have to uh, provide the weight via text message um, through internet or app-based. And there's a big kickoff event, right? That's coming later in January on the 23rd? Yes, we're super excited about the kickoff. It'll be at the Grand um, the Theater here in St. Mary's. And we'll also have Diana Kramer, um, the volleyball coach of New Bremen Cardinals, who has won various um, state, championships. state championships. And she's going to be kicking off the, the event for us with motivation of what inspires her to do so well as her team teams that she's won the championships with. So we're excited to have her kick off the event for us. Yeah, doctor, this is the 18th annual. So obviously you're doing something right. So it must be neat to be able to tweak it a little every year and offer some extra things to, to keep the challenge going. We're trying to keep it new. Um, we're trying to change it. Um, and as Lisa had mentioned previously, we do surveys every year of our participants to see what suits their needs better. Um, what I think is a good thing to do sometimes isn't what my patients and what the community thinks is a good thing to do. So we try to keep it fresh. We try to keep it new and try, try to add new things to keep people engaged and keep people moving. All right, so now's the time to register, to get involved, right? Exactly. 
January 5th, I think is the deadline. And um, I think we had some of the um, registration information um, available on the screen just previously. Um, they can contact the outreach office um, here at um, Joint Township um, District Memorial Hospital on Grand Lake Health Systems, and they can take care of getting you registered. Um, the contact person for that is Stephanie Lowry. I do have a phone number if that's helpful, and that's 419-394-6132. And on the webpage also, it's available. All right, some exciting stuff to get us healthier and challenge us through the new year. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, don't go away. New Edition continues in a moment.